so hi everyone today we will be trying out how to fine tune llama 3.1 using unsloth so unsloth is a new library that internally uses lora fine tuning so lora is a fine tuning method for faster fine tuning of uh, llms if you don't know about it you can check out my previous video both on the theory and the practical implementation so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install a number of requirements as you can see here unsloth collab new TRL, PEFT, Accelerate, Bits and Byte, etc. Next, what I'm trying to do here is as it is just for demonstration purpose, I have loaded a data set, but I would be fine tuning the Llama 3.1 8B model on a subset of it so that I can complete the demonstration. So I've loaded the fine tome 100K data set and then taken 50 samples in the training part and 10 samples in the test part. That's it. So this is how the data set looks like. So it is basically conversation between human and any GPT that is share GPT from human value. What was the prompt from GPT value? What was the output given? So this is the entire uh, JSON looks like. And I'm saving these JSON as an external file. So basically this entire tutorial can be repeated if you wish to fine tune your Llama 3.1 model for any other data set also. So you just need to get it into this particular format and you would be able to use it directly. Next, we would be importing some important packages, SFT trainer that is supervised fine tuning trainer, loading data set. Uh, these are the two important ones and two new uh, functions that we would be using from Unsloth, fast language model and get chart template. Next, we would be downloading the Llama 3.18B model as you can see here. So for that, you need, first need to pass your hugging face Z token. So I've already explained in my previous videos on how to generate that. You can check that out. Once you have passed that using the fast language from pre-trained, you need to provide this particular ID and then load in 4-bit is the most important part because we are loading a quantized version of Llama 3.18b. So by quantization, we mean that we are reducing the space taken by the weights so that the model becomes lighter in nature by taking minimal hit on the accuracy. So you can check out my previous video, what is quantization and all, you would be able to get it. So here you can see that the download has started. The model size is 5.7 GB as you can see. Here you can see some animated logo as well that is implement, uh, showing that Unsloth has started. Once it is done, this is the most important section of this code snippet where we are mentioning the LoRa parameters. So I've already explained the different parameters used for LoRa in my previous video. I'll be just briefing it out here. So R is basically the rank parameter of LoRa. You need to understand, you know how LoRa works before jumping onto the codes. LoRa alpha is a scaling factor. Target module is very important because it is telling which particular section of the network, the transform model that you're using would be getting impacted by the fine tuning. So QKV, if you remember, if you have read attention mechanism are the three matrices that are the core of it. So this particular section tells these are the matrices, these are the weights that you need to update. RS LoRa is basically rank stabilized LoRa, an upgraded version of LoRa that we are initiating here. So I'm not jumping deep into its mathematics. So here you can see that what are the different layers that would be impacted are mentioned. Now in the next section, we would be converting the training data set that we have loaded as a JSON into the particular format for fine tuning. So we would be loading the JSON file, the training and test data set and providing it into a particular template so that we would be able to fine tune Llama 3.1, right? So here you can see that I'm loading the train and test JSON and then passing it to the load data set so that it become comes into a format which is acceptable by Llama 3.1. Now here we are just changing a few things. So basically the from key goes to the role, the value key goes to the content, user becomes human and assistant becomes GPT. So basically the different keys used have been renamed if you the, if I tell you in short. Rest of the uh, logic remains the same. And then we have got our final data set that we would be using. So this would be the final data set that is would be going for fine tuning of Llama 3.1. As you can see that certain things have changed. Some additional tokens we have added. I am start, I am end, I am start user, I am end. So here you can see that certain flags have been added alongside the format has been changed a bit from the original data set. Now once done, now we will initiate our SFT trainer. So we will be passing a number of parameter here also that the most important ones being the model, the tokenizer, training test data set, 
different arguments about the lora tuning that we wish to do so these are the things that we are passing here also number of epochs that we wish to train the optimizer learning rate etc once then we are initiating the trainer trainer dot train the model gets loaded training gets started the most important part if you see this one it is incorporating about 42 million parameters but we have loaded a model of 8 billion parameters so this is the magic of lora so basically we are fine tuning just about 0.5 percent of the total parameters and we would be getting a great accuracy on the results now you can see one thing to note here is that i have reduced the batch size here you should be increasing it but as collab was crashing out constantly so i have reduced the batch size so do remember if you are just demonstrating it you can go with a smaller batch size but if if you are actually fine tuning it you need to use a bigger batch size so here you can see that for different batches this is the loss we have got and this is the final training metrics that we have got now once you have trained the model uh, inferencing is very easy again using fast language model you need to call for inference and pass the model that you have fine tuned above pass the message human from human value is 9. Point, is 9.11 larger than 9.99 so we won't be passing the gpt response if you remember from share gpt what was the part so that would be predicted by the llm now and then just call it out model dot generate model ids streamer is text streamer so we are passing a tokenizer again this particular message is passed to apply chat template to convert it into the format which is accepted by llama 3.1 rest of the things remain the same now you would be able to inference your model as well so this is how you can fine tune a llama 3.1 8b or 70b model using unsloth and lora thank you so much